Hi guys, welcome to another episode of After Tutorials by Level Nation Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how you can use custom shapes for your bones in Blender. Let's get started. I want you to take note of uh, how this thing works. Now, when you click on any of these controls, make sure you go to the object, the bone properties, and then you can see the custom object here. This custom object shows the particular object that is being displayed in place of the bone. Okay, so we are going to create our own custom object and we're going to delete this uh, very one. So to create our object, I would click on the scene collection, then go to object mode. I'm clicking on the scene collection to make sure that my created object would be outside every other collection in here. And I would also make sure my cursor is at the origin here. So shift A to create the object and make sure you create the object from the mesh and not the curve. If you use the curve, the object will not be visible. But when you use the mesh, the object will be visible. So mesh and I'm going to click on uh, circle now for this i'm going to rename this as new shape and i'm going to the edit mode and scale this down and then try and do something funky with it pull that out and maybe pull this in Okay, so much for example. All right, so with this, I'm going to go back to the rig, go to the post mode, and then select the roots. You can see the C roots. This is what I want to change. I want to change this look from this to the new shape object we just created together. So click on that, go to the bone properties, scroll down to viewport display, custom shape, and then change the custom object to new shape. And there you have it. Now, as soon as I did that, you can see I have my um, object here displayed. So I can choose to scale the object if I want to. You can see, make it as big as you want to, and that's it. And of course, still going to control the object, the character, the way it should, as you can see here. So this is how you can use uh, custom shapes for your bones in Blender. I'm going to call it a wrap here. I hope you've learned one or two things from this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so, and until next time, keep your creativity blended.